Hi everybody, it's Adrian here. Thank you for joining me on my channel. And if you're a subscriber, and welcome back. If you'd like to be a subscriber, yay, it would mean a lot to me in my little adventure on YouTube. And I also would appreciate if you like what you see and hear and content, Go ahead and do a like. That's that little thumbs up kind of thing people are always doing. And of course, leave a comment. I do like to respond back to you. So, growing the channel. That's what we're trying to do. And I appreciate all 250 plus people that have joined so far. So, what are we doing today? Temu! It's going to be a Temu haul. And everybody and such always say, I bet you've heard of Temu already. Online shopping phenomenon started last September and has branched out to Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom, as well as here in the USA. They've eliminated the middleman. You are not paying that next step mark up on goods because nobody else is having to deal with it except the seller and you. And Temu is a huge business that oversees the whole thing. Everything is a bunch of different vendors under their umbrella. Lots of different payment plan opportunities and ways of acceptance. There's always a sale up to 90% off and it's everything as we would say before soup to nuts, except there's no soup and there's no nuts. Well, can you imagine if they went into food? Whee! Okay, so Temu is the way to go to get a lot of great items that make keeping your house clean and sparkly, which I'm telling you from personal experience, that uplifts your spirit. When things are dullish and dusty and whatever, what have you use. Take it from me, you go down with that kind of blondness. So it's just been really terrific and I have a lot of fun things to share. And let's start right off with, I got this bag of fifth fake nails. Uh, there are numbers zero through nine on the bags, which I guess is giving you a gradiated step, smaller and smaller and smaller after the biggest, biggest thumb ones, all the way down to the baby finger. And I get them in white because sometimes it's all I can do to get them glued on and I'm done. <laughs> I have to stop, usually because I've to spend the next three hours, literally, working to get the uh, glue off of my fingers. I just, not gifted, not gifted, but I love having fingernails. So, yay, yay, keep trying. <laughs> and... I do them in white then so that they have a color to them and it's not a see-through that gets all mottled looking and, you know, it's just not that attractive to me overall. So the white means I'm already starting with a color. And the thing is, buying these instead of kits of just the shorter nail that I like to wear, uh is price. So this whole bag of nails, nails and nails and nails, nails and nails and nails, $2.99. And I just opened one at random and grabbed out a fake nail. And I always think the curved goes to the back. Okay, hold it on. Goes to the back where your cuticle is get nice rounded there but now you can see how long 
that nail is. It's way up here. So the nail in front of it is, a, is the same height as the nail behind the white nail. So you can see that there's like a good chunk that needs to be cut off. And that brings me up to $1.37. I saw someone haul these. I never thought about it. I thought they were just for the acrylic cementy type thick nail. No. So this is just a plastic pair. So it's lightweight in the hand, easy to squeeze, no problem with osteoarthritis on this. And what you do is you just put your nail in and measure to where you want to cut it and you cut it and it goes flying but then you will have a nail that's the correct size and you can clean it up with um, a nail file that's good for use on these nails that's just fine but that's the plan stan i have this little cut nail here that is going to be how I'm doing my nails. I'll be cutting them down. <laughs> I love how I think I can really successfully do all of these things with continuity and length and neatness. Oh my goodness. But that's okay. I've always said, what are your hobbies? Before it was reading and nails. And now it's electronics and everything within that reading and doing and such and listening to books on a uh, audio book. So fabulous. Okay, enough. This, if you do, do nails and have fake nails, keeping something like this around, like if one bends over and breaks, it is right? You can actually just clip it down and make it look neat or wild. You wait for whatever remedy you want to take care of on that. All right. Next, I'm going to show you. Oh, yes. I've gotten a pink pair before that was um, around the same price point, or I think it even might have been 99 so each level, I get it for less. This time I got it for 77 cents each for this each. 77 cents for the set in blue. And everybody's starting to recognize. We all speak globally. Everybody, eh? Not everybody knows that's why we're here doing hauls. Pop these little guys on your wrist. It's little miniature towels for your wrists, meaning when you're doing stuff and splashing water and this and that, and something's gonna be rolling down your hand, your little miniature wrist towels catch it. And it's not going all the way down your arm, which can be a very cold, if not indeed just an annoying experience. So now I've got a pair for 77 cents. But keep tuned in. We have the bargain of a lifetime. I finally <laughs> hit on. You'll see, you'll see. So I have these. What else is in here? Okay, I see stuff for kitchen and cleaning. So let's go ahead into that. Now, $2.68. Anything that is hitting in the $3 range is my idea of big spending on tips. And I'd seen this hauled numerous different times. What is that? What are those bristles on hinges for? This is for knives and your cutlery in general, if you wish. But my cutting knives can have some grit stuck on them occasionally, blah, 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 blah. But to have that good kitchen knife, I'm always cutting my sponge, trying to clean it. So I'm looking forward to this where it's just gonna be, open this up, 
get the blade, go through, clean it, done. And you can actually do all of your uh, cutlery through there if you wish, but I particularly got it for my kitchen cutting kitchen knives that are out there and cut up my sponges. So, yay, I was happy to spend $2.58. <laughs> because why not? When I get other things like this for six cents. Now, initially they were calling these cheese containers because when you'd buy your six or eight slice of cheese pack, when you got the outer cellophane off, not, they're falling through the shelves, everything in the refrigerator. So this is, you just put them in here, close it, and they stay fresh longer. And when you go to open it, just opens enough, get in there, pull that little fake cheese out, and you're done. Well, I don't really eat the fake cheese, but I'm thinking how I like to do my little personal charcuteries and that what I end up with are neat things that I could have this stored with olives and little pickles and all kinds of things. <laughs> So I, I just think that's going to be very handy because it really does close up tight. So it keeps a terrific seal. Six cents. What are you going to do when you get lightning deals at six cents? Here's another lightning deal that I was actually able to get two of at 48 cents each. And yes, indeed, I thought I'd gotten this all open and ready for you. It's this one. Okay. So not only do they have the chenille shaggy that we're getting used to coming through China with our hand little sculpty ones that we get to get the water gone from and the things that can go over your shoes and blah, blah, blah. Well, this is an extendable duster. Ooh, yay. An extendable duster with this on it, whether you want to do your ceiling fan blades, that would be really good because you actually can take it off. It's on here. It's got an elastic bottom. Yeah, like let's get my fingers in there and really try and show you. <laughs> yeah, an elastic bottom. Okay, so they can come off and you can actually wash them. And I got two. I like to keep everything near with where I'm using it. So one in the living area and one in the bedroom. Or I might share this with, with my daughter-in-law, but maybe I'll just look out for a deal again. So yay, here we go. 48 cents each, lightning deals, lightning deals, absolutely. When I saw um, Kitty Street, Wendy, haul this beverage can organizer for the uh, refrigerator at $1.88. It's really one of it. It hasn't been offered any lower and it's definitely higher. So what you have here, just need to get it stretched out a little bit and be able to put your can inside here. And it's organized on the shelf in the refrigerator, just to pull out, grab what you want and push it back. And four is plenty because Canned beverages for me are uh, a treat. And I just like that idea. It uh, came with the yellow handle at that price. If you want to pay more, they do offer the, them in other color handles. But terrific, really. Thank you so very much, Kitty Street. I've got one too now. Yay! Organize my household for sure.
another great item. These crack me up. Way back when, I'd first got a pair that were regular sheer scissor blade length, and they were to cut through your name on your envelopes and things. If you didn't have a paper shredder, this would shred your paper for you. Well, for $1.49, Temu had come out with what basically looks like the beginning of a handle just for a kit size scissors. But with all of these here, it's your green onion. You go ahead and you take your green onion and you just need to cut through it. Yeah, neateroo, neateroo. I'm really, this is gonna work out phenomenally. So I'm really happy to get this fun, multi-bladed scissors to cut up chives and green onions. Yeah, go for it. Handy dandy for the kitchen. And last, what I got are these imitation uh, white sponges that are the imitation of the Mr. Clean. And another gal that I watch, the Cheap Chick, C-H-I-C-K. She uh, cleans up a lot of things. She does um, abandoned lockers and storage units, and she has a flea market table, and she hauls everything, and she's adorable and a great woman to go see. And she swears by these white ones from Temu. She said some people find them too flimsy, that they say they're on the thinner side. Well, I got, took one out, wet it up, and went around all of my baseboards. I got a whole baseboard of scuffs right off. Absolutely no problem. And I'm just going around on the door handles around where the fingers just kind of hit that area constantly. And I really am trying to see how much of that kind of stuff I can get off. And I was using it as scrubbing and the cheap chick mentioned that that's a reason people don't like these necessarily is that they do start breaking up easily. You can hear my nail going right into it. And so it, they start to break off, but I used up my whole sponge down to its mangled up state and working on getting my uh, cupboards cleaned off. So for a 10 pack, a 10 pack for 89 cents, I'm glad that I listened and I gave them a try. And I bet that they'll help you with your cleaning also. Okay, that's what we're gonna cover right now from this Temu haul. I thank y'all again. I'm looking forward to the channel growing and your participation really helps make that happen. Uh, I believe I am just blooming as a person and I, attribute a lot of it to peeing on YouTube. So thank you everybody. Bye-bye for now.